Hello and welcome to the ninth tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at columns within columns. We'll be using the source code from the sixth part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have learned loads about how Bootstrap works by using columns, but I'm about to blow your mind with this tutorial. Simply, you can put column within columns, and those columns have the same 12 grid space rule, but here is where it gets interesting. The 12 grid spaces of inner columns span the outer column, not the actual browser width or the uh, actual outer grid size. So if we have a column that is six columns wide, and we have two columns inside that that are six wide, then the inner column would technically be 25% of the overall grid system. This allows you as a developer to get around the 12 grid space rule. First of all, let's uh, implement what we've been discussing. So let's just open up our project in a text editor. And what we're gonna do is just remove uh, all of these columns right here. So remove them all, let's get rid of them. And then what we're going to do is remove the padding from the gray box because we don't have any tech, we're not going to have any text inside, we don't really need the padding, it's just useless. So inside the row, we're going to do div, and we're going to do class, oh no, no. need a space, class equals column dash large dash six and you'll be for medium you'll be dash md dash six and for small it's gonna be dash sm dash twelve and for extra small it's gonna be dash xs dash twelve and within here what we're gonna do is create another div There we go. And what we're going to do is class equals gray dash box. We're still going to be using that class that we created. We're going to do div. And in here, we're going to do class equals column dash lg dash six, column dash md dash six column dash sm dash 12 column dash xs dash um, 12 and what we're going to do is put a yellow box at the moment this doesn't exist and we will be using this afterwards and inside here what we're going to be doing is adding a random paragraph and I'm just going to go into my web browser type in random paragraph Look, my bad internet is disconnected refresh I'm gonna go to just give me the most random paragraph that you can possibly imagine and I'll walk into my car blah, blah, blah. yeah sounds all right sounds pretty funny as well I'm just gonna use that to go back to our text editor zoom in copy and paste that into here I can put this all on one line actually now I'll leave it as it is that's fine and the next thing we're gonna do is simply copy and paste this And now what we're going to do is just copy and paste this entire column that has a grey box and two yellow boxes inside it. And now what we're ready to do is just do the CSS. So if we go up here, for the grey box, we're going to change a couple of things as well. We're going to have to get rid of the background colour grey. We're going to get rid of the height. Uh, the, the height will adjust according to the content inside it. Uh, apart from that, it's A, okay? I'm going to do dot yellow dash box. And for this, we're going to do background color. And I think you can guess it's going to be yellow. We're going to do a border dash style solid. We're just adding a border so you can see the separate divs within solid and existing div. Dash color black and for the border width we're just going to keep it simple and put this as one pixel finally we're going to do margin dash bottom 10 pixels and this is just for when 
the screen goes really small and a lot of the divs are just on top of each other. So save it, zoom out, and now we're actually ready to run this in a web browser. So if we just open this. So we have our two, we have our two outer divs which span six columns on a large screen size. And we, within each div we have two more divs which span six columns six columns and six columns and as you can see these six columns is just a half of the outer div is not relative to the grid itself or the browser so if we resize this as you can see it's resizing when we go really small it's on top of each other and then the margin dash bottom comes into effect so they're basically not touching and there you go you basically have divs within the uh, columns within columns it's a great way to be able to organize it, um, your code. So if you have some sort of blog, you could, instead of just having one column and then another column, you could have the main column, which has your content, your blog posts. And within there, you can maybe just have a column for the, the um, thumbnail, then maybe a column for the actual meat of the blog. So as you can see, columns within columns can be done really easy, bootstrap does support it, it's not a fudge or anything like that and it's pretty crazy what you can do with it, here, are the, here is a task for you make the columns inside aka these two and these two so they have padding around them so they aren't touching each other like this so make um, how these two are in, in terms of the, the gap here the next tutorial will cover rows in more depth if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.